Hey everybody, today on the Lightroom Whisperer Sweet Nothings Edition, I just wanted to take a minute to talk about the Navigator in Lightroom. The Navigator is the little window that you see in the upper left-hand corner. Depending on the module you're in, it's going to show you different information, but we're going to be talking mainly about what you're going to see in the library or the develop modules today. So the picture that you see up here is the one that you currently have selected, the one that's highlighted. In my grid view right now, if I was to go and choose a different picture, you'll see that appear in that Navigator. Now if I was to go to Develop, it's automatically going to bring me into the loop view. Right now in Library, to enter that same loop view where we're looking at just one picture, I can do that a couple ways. I can either double click on the image itself, I can go down to the toolbar, and the selected image, when I click this icon, will go into a full frame view or loop view. Or I can actually go in the navigator and click on the picture up there. Any of those ways will bring us into loop view, where we're just looking at that one picture. Now that I'm in here, there's a few things to note on that navigator. It's telling us right now that it's fitting the image to the frame. It's showing us the whole picture on your monitor. If I was to go in and hit fill, it's going to take that picture and run it edge to edge across what I see in my Lightroom. Now this next part is where it's going to change a little bit because depending on the resolution of your monitor and the camera you used, it will change the magnification of these ratios. So on my monitor, which is a 1080 HD monitor, if I click one to one, this roughly 12 megapixel camera is going to zoom in to a certain range. If I am too close, you can see next to here I have one to two, and that means it's going to zoom back to about a 50%. What that is telling me is one to one is the pixel of my camera equals one pixel on this screen. So if you're using a 4K monitor or a 5K monitor, much higher resolution, that same magnification won't pull you in as close. If you need to change that, you can click the little arrows on the side. You see a whole range of ratios here, and if you go to something like three to one or four to one, it brings you in much closer. Now on my monitor, since this is only 1080 HD, you can see the pixels actually coming out now, and that's because I've magnified past the point where the screen is able to show me the resolution of the pixels from my camera. You start to see that loss of quality. That really makes no difference in your overall shot unless you make immense pictures that you're gonna put your nose right up to. So with this picture, I could literally make a 24 by 36 picture you could put your nose up to and you wouldn't see any kind of loss of detail. Now, let's zoom back to one to one. And I wanna look at a different spot within this image. If I was to go within the navigator and click on the area that I wanna center, it's going to then move that to that location within the picture. That's it. I mean, there really isn't a lot to it. It is though a really useful tool for you to be able to maneuver around your selected image or zoom in to a specified degree. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and hit that like button down below. That's gonna make sure that YouTube circulates this a bit more and more people can see this. From the Lightroom Whisperer, keep on Lightrooming.